ladies and gentlemen, at long last, finally, One UI 7 Android 15 is rolling out to a handful of Samsung devices like the S24 series, the Z Flip 6, Z Fold 6, and the Z Fold Special Edition. In this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 new features of One UI 7 being demoed here on my Galaxy Z Fold 6. Keep in mind, at time of recording, we are still waiting for the official rollout to begin in North America. Should be starting on the 10th, but at any rate, here we go, top 10 new features. So one of the first most obvious ones are the changes to the quick settings and notification shade. So by default now, if you swipe down on the left-hand side, you're going to get just your notifications. No matter how many times you pull down, it's gonna just stay notifications. If you swipe down on the right-hand side, you're going to get your quick settings fully expanded. You also now have the ability to click on this little pin and edit things. You can move things around a little bit as well as obviously changing which individual quick settings are in that panel. It's much more modular than it was before. Now you can also, if I click on done, you can swipe left and right to go back and forth between the two. And you can also click on this pin and go into panel settings and change this to together so that now you have the same old setup as before where swiping down anywhere gets you this view, swipe down again gets you that view. Another really big change is when you're in an application, your taskbar down at the bottom might not be visible. What you can do is a short swipe up to reveal that taskbar. Now from there, it's going to operate exactly the same as before. You can drag an app up onto screen into a floating window, left side, right side, top and bottom, but that taskbar is going to go away when it is not being used. It is now transient like it is on the Pixel devices as well as now on the Oppo devices. Lots of newer foldables are switching to this taskbar that hides itself away. Now you can jump into your settings and actually in this area I can demo another thing which is the ability to use natural language inside your settings search. We're gonna search for, I want the taskbar to always be visible. Taskbar is going to pop up there. If I click on it, it's gonna scroll us down to it, down here at the bottom. And if you click on this, taskbar style auto hide when apps are open or stay on screen. So you can quickly turn that back to the old behavior if you don't like it, I'll demo this natural language search one more time. If you search something like my eyes hurt, well, you're going to get some things that are kind of relevant, like eye comfort shield. I don't know how useful this really is because I feel like eye or eyes would probably get you most of these because they have that word in them. But at any rate, they do claim that this is a more natural language search inside your settings. Back here on the home screen, this is something I keep talking about and I really do just enjoy it. You have big folders and this allows you to have so many more applications easily accessible on your screen without needing to really like mess with your grid or use a third party launcher. All of these icons are clickable. I can just click directly on them or I can click in the folder and expand it. I'll say this again, I always have to say this, I'm capturing this screen wirelessly so if any of these animations look slow, that's why it's not actually the phone <laughs> itself, it's the way that this is being captured. But it's a folder and it can also just be launched directly from that view. If you long press on this folder, you can see shrink is an option or enlarge is an option. Really enjoy that one. If you pull out your smart sidebar, you'll see that AI select is now also an option. And this works kind of like circle to search, but a little bit different. So I'm going to draw a circle around this piece of merchandise and you can see several different options now appear. You can crop this, you can actually pin this image, copy it, share it, download it, set it as a wallpaper, or do generative edit. If we do generative edit, it's gonna jump up into this screen and you can now draw, tap anything that you want to remove. It is their full-blown generative editor. You can also sketch something on top of this to add it to this image. And the cool thing is, it's not just that. If I go back into this again, and this time I select some text, it's going to give me a different set of tools because now it's going to be text. It's picking up 
uh, numbers there. So it's giving me the option to convert it. You do have the little text icon here, which is going to allow you to select that text. And then you could trigger writing assist and change the writing style, so forth and so on. Again, it's like circle to search, but with a whole bunch more stuff added on. And I do think that this little pin option is really, really cool because it'll just sort of throw it up there to the corner and then you can go do other things. And then if you're in an app that supports it, you can long press on that image and drag it into your text box and then send that image off. Another cool new feature is the now bar. I am now playing music from YouTube Music and if I lock my screen, you're gonna see down here at the bottom, the now bar. And this allows me to quickly pause that music, skip a track, do whatever I need to do. And in fact, it works with several other ongoing tasks. So if I unlock this really quickly, now I have a timer going and I can actually swipe between these different tasks. And if I unlock my device, you'll see up here in this top corner, I have several other little now bars there as well, working exactly the same. So let's, let's get rid of my timer. And now you can see that YouTube Music is still running up here in this corner. If I open this up, there's a nice little pop-up showing my ongoing music. So this is kind of cool. The actual now bar, like on the lock screen, I don't see, or I don't see as being particularly useful because I never look at my lock screen. But this, having this little pill that lives up here that shows what's going on, you can quickly jump into no matter what application you are in. You can have another application running and quickly pull this up and do what you need to do. I think it looks good and I think that is pretty useful. This is a smaller change, but it's really welcome for me. If you go into your app drawer, what you're gonna notice is that it is now vertical, which means you swipe up to get into it, and then you just keep swiping up for years and years with Samsung devices. You'd swipe up to get into the app drawer, and then it would be a horizontal app drawer. Now it can be vertical. If we jump into settings and then go into advanced features and then look for side button, under long press, you can now set this to digital assistant. And in this case, it is set to Google. What does this mean? It means that if I hold my power button, Google Gemini is going to fire up down there at the bottom of the screen. Now, just like the vertical app drawer, there had been ways in the past that you could do this with good lock modules, but now it's built in. Let's jump back into that smart sidebar because now we have something called drawing assist. And what this is, is basically Samsung's version of Pixel Studio. In some ways it's more advanced, in some ways it's less advanced. But basically, you can generate images using a whole bunch of different things, like a drawing, so you can actually just quickly sketch something. You can also use a photo as a reference, or you can use text. So let's grab a photo. We're going to use this one. We're going to go with a watercolor. That's absolutely fine. And we'll use some text here. And I'm going to say use an anime style. And so it's going to use that image as a reference with my text instructions. And again, you could also sketch something on top of it. It's going to put all of that together and give you this end result, which I think actually does look pretty cool. Can I zoom in on this? It actually corrected me to an animal style. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. There we go. If we zoom in, you can see what it did. And that's that's pretty cool, right? The ability to use all of these different inputs to create an image. Now, my only problem with this is that you don't have nearly as many different art styles. So you will need to use that text to kind of give it the style that you wanted to have. We'll try this one more time with the word anime instead of animal. And that is much closer to what I was actually looking for. We'll go back over. Yeah, that's exactly what I was wanting. And that's pretty cool. And last but not least, if you jump into your gallery application and you look at a video, you can see this here, erase unwanted sounds with audio eraser. If we click on this, it's going to basically scan this video and try to detect the different noises that are going on. And it's going to give you the ability to try and block those things out. Very similar to what some Pixel devices can now do. So I know that this was a windy day. Let me show you what this sounded like first off. What is it, Jet? Making you nervous? There's a grocery bag in the tree from the wind. So now what we can do is we can take this little bar here and we can just block out the wind and see how that sounds now. I went the wrong direction. I think I might have actually made the wind sound louder. We want to go to minus 100. Making you nervous?
is a grocery bag in the tree from the wind. And as you can tell there, it's gone. That worked absolutely beautifully. Now, of course, those aren't the only new features of One UI 7. There are a whole bunch of new ones. There are new widgets. There are new animations. There's a lot to really like about One UI 7. In fact, I am very, very impressed with it. And it's one of the things that's making me most excited about the Galaxy Z Fold 7. This software is absolutely fantastic. Give it to me in a thinner body, larger screen, better cover display, better primary camera, I might be absolutely in heaven. But those are my top 10 new features of One UI 7. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Are there any that I missed that you think probably should have been in that top 10? Hit those comments and let everybody know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.